This is not so much a tithe message today. I, it's kind of this, this, the evolution of what God's put on my heart for the nature of giving and everything. It's his management system. So, you know, when you understand the things that were being spoken with a biblical sense in context to scripture, I was just sitting there this morning and understanding in my heart how much the things in the Bible correspond with each other, the front to the back and the back to the front and the middle to the side and so on and so forth. But all of it is God's management system. And, and it just means so much to me because I'm, sit, I'm sitting there listening to Pastor Mike say all these things and I was relating to it all and I was thinking of scriptures as he was saying these things, specific scriptures, and it was hitting me really hard. But uh, that being said, the, this management system that we're dealing with um, is based on his word and he says he holds his word in higher regard than his own name. So I don't want to get too crazy and say that you could leverage him, but uh, that's basically what he said. So, I mean, I think I would take advantage of that considering I just want to share with you kind of my, um, my journey, realistically. I'll share it with you with scripture here. Okay, so just to get one parable out there, Jesus give, you know, speaks the parable of the talents in Matthew 25. And he, he gave each one of them certain, you know, talents and it's a giftings and whatnot and spiritual gifts and whatever you want to refer it to as, as a, that was, you know, a, a Lord, the Lord, he was speaking of a Lord. He might've given them actual monetary value, whatever. Um, and what they did or did not do with it was how he handled them at the end of the day. And so that's kind of been my progression with my physical giving, but also kind of where my heart's at. And so as scripture reads, I'm, this one verse has kind of brought me to a place and uh, in Joshua, I mean, uh, in, in Timothy uh, 4.15, I, I've got Joshua 1.8 because it's a similar verse right there written beside it. Uh, Timothy 4.15, it says, Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear unto all. And I've, I've, I've experienced that. Um, but verse 16 also says, it says, Take heed unto thyself. And I don't think people understand the nature of it. You know, uh, when Mike says that your, your intellect, your mind, will, and emotions, that's your personality. But let me explain it to you a little bit further. Your mind, will, and emotions are what you think, what you feel, and how you act. You understand? So now, now let me read it to you a little bit further. Take heed unto thyself. That means pay attention to your personality and into the doctrine, continue in them. So you have to compare the way that you think, feel, and act to the word of the Lord. You need to know what your spiritual mirror is. You need to read it to understand it. Okay, so for in doing so, this shall both save thyself and them that hear thee. And that's kind of where I feel that God's been touching me lately because we've been teaching on the judgment seat of Christ and that's where he weighs all your motives and um, you know, the things you did or did not do based on his word. And uh, it's really shifted my, my heart into another gear. But I just want to show you how all this relates real quick because I don't want you to miss this, um, why this is so important. If you want to come here to give and you want to try to do all this and that and the other, I want to discourage you if you don't believe what it says. I want to tell you don't waste your money. You understand what I'm saying? But what I'm fixing to read to you right here out of Proverbs, it'll explain it to you real well if you want to read it for yourself later. You just look at Proverbs uh, chapter 2. Uh, you don't have to turn there. If you want to, you can. But I want you to hear me as I read it real slowly. It's, I'm going to start at verse 1. It's going to explain everything to you what I just said and then some. And you're going to understand exactly what God's trying to do with you if you just take the time to read this and meditate on it slowly and eat his word like he says for us to do. I'm just going to start right there at verse 1 again. My son, if, if, that's a conjunction. It, it combines two thoughts. If thou receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply, that's, a verb, thine heart to understanding. Yea, if, 
if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if, if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hidden treasures, then, then, that's, that's another conjunctive word, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. And that's been my journey. You know, he says, when you seek him with all your heart, you shall find him. And what does he say? He says, seek me, uh, seek, seek, seek uh, the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all other things shall, shall be added. So when you're dealing with, you know, well, I'm so behind. I got to get this. I got this, all this business. I got all these things, these affairs. I got to keep going. Da, 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 da. You're, you're missing on this wisdom piece and this understanding piece. And when you have this understanding and wisdom piece, anybody that stepped into mastery, they, they, they walk into a, uh, a situation, you know, for example, <laughs> people say all the time, uh, time is valuable, time, you know, my time's worth money, but they're wrong. You know why? Because their time is worth more than money. And so if they're run out of money, they can just go make some more. But if they run out of time, they're done for. But the understanding of mastery is that you have something. So you have this thing that's mastery is the ability to execute effortlessly without the use of conscious resources. So you can go in there with this understanding and this wisdom, step into a situation where you fall and flat on your face and, and walk out of it with flying colors while everybody else is looking around going, what just happened? And it's only based on understanding and wisdom. Wisdom is the application of knowledge. But when you have the highest knowledge, the truth, and you stand on it, even though circumstances might say otherwise, right? Then you get blessed because you believe it. But you have to understand what believe is too. So I only say this to you just for you to you know, understand a little bit about this management system that God has. If you don't believe it, then don't give. If you don't believe it, then don't love. Because it's he's judging our motives. He's not judging our actions. I just would encourage you, though, if you want to step into his blessings, because if you don't get blessed, you'll get the recompense. I mean, it's either reward or consequences. Whichever one you decide is on you. But I'm here for the ride and I want the reward. And that's basically my... Um, management message today. <laughs>